What is energy? Energy is certainly a concept that's easier to recognize than define. You see it all around you. From the sun radiating heat and light, to moving vehicles, to your little brother stealing the microphone when trying to record a YouTube video. Anyways, the scientific definition of energy states that energy is the capacity to do work and can exist in different forms. But the word work isn't used like it normally would be, or energy would be anybody over the age of two. Work is the measure of energy transfer over the distance by an external force, which is just to move something by applying another force. There are multiple different types of energy and can be transferred from one to another. For example, chemical, electrical, nuclear, mechanical, gravitational potential, and so on can all be transferred into each other. An example of energy being transferred is me slapping my brother. When slapping my brother, the kinetic energy from my hand is transferred into mechanical energy and potential energy when hitting my brother, which, as you can guess, sets him flying. Although there are many types of energy, the two main types that you need to know are kinetic and potential. Kinetic energy is the energy that an object possesses through motion. The most common type of kinetic energy you see is known as translational kinetic energy, which is energy due to linear motion. The equation for translational kinetic energy is that translational kinetic energy is equivalent to half of the mass times velocity squared. Kinetic energy is usually caused by potential energy, which is the energy that an object stores due to its position, like elevating a ball against gravity. Potential energy depends on the distance between the object that is moved, like how high the ball is relative to the ground, and the strength of the force, like how big the planet you are on is. As I dropped the ball just now, the potential energy stored in the ball transferred into kinetic energy as it fell to the ground. Yet another property of energy is that it can neither be created nor destroyed. The formula for the conservation of energy states that the initial kinetic and potential energy is equal to the final kinetic and potential energy. Now, some of you might be saying, And blood meets, uh, how can energy exist in the first place if it can't be created or destroyed? I don't actually have an answer for that, so we need to ask ChatGPT. How does energy exist in the first place if it cannot be created? What? There are basically no answers to this question. The only theories to explain the origins of energy are the Big Bounce and maybe the Zero Energy Universe. If you want to read about them, I have links in the description, but to summarize, the Zero Energy Universe theory states that the energy in the universe is exactly zero, with positive energy from matter perfectly balanced by negative energy from gravity. For the Big Bounce, it states that the universe collapsed after its expansion, and the energy we have is the result of the previous universe collapsing in on itself and becoming the singularity that served the Big Bang. Now, up to this point in the video, you may think that only objects with mass can possess energy, but there are many more things that can do so too. Massless things like photons and gluons can also possess energy, because they're moving particles in electromagnetic fields. So fields can possess energy, great. But there's no possible way that mass can possess energy, right? Yes. That's because mass is energy. Thanks to that German guy with a weird hairstyle, we now know that energy and mass are mutable and equivalent, and are interchangeable with each other. In conclusion, we can tell that energy is one of the true constants of the universe. It can exist in different forms, and can transform it to each of its forms. And it cannot be created nor destroyed. And with that, we conclude the longest Blood Beats video yet. Don't forget to subscribe because this one actually took me a lot of effort to do. And also Happy New Year because I just realized that it's January the 1st. Bye-bye.